For the first time in two and a half years, a total lunar eclipse will be visible in California and west of the Rocky Mountains. It's a super blood moon eclipse, and here's what you need to know. As the moon travels around the Earth, there are times it enters the Earth's shadow. The partial eclipse is when the moon enters what's called the penumbra, but the total eclipse doesn't occur until the moon enters the umbra. This is the point when the moon turns a blood red. The reason it's a reddish color is the sunlight is refracting through our atmosphere and leaking through the edges of our planet onto the moon. Now, if you're on the surface of the moon looking at Earth, you are seeing every sunrise and sunset at the same time. Now, this is also a supermoon, which means it's 90% closest possible distance to the Earth. It appears 7% larger and 15% brighter than other full moons. Tides are higher and stronger. To see it, you have to to look southwest early Wednesday morning. Here are those times. The partial eclipse starts at 2.45 in the morning, but to see it turn that red, you want to wait to totality for when it goes into the umbra. That starts at 4.10. 4.19 in the morning is when the northern part of the moon is going to be its brightest red. Totality ends at 4.28 in the morning with the partial eclipse ending at 5.53 in the morning.